All right. So the first question here is what data data report do I pull to submit to ODE for the KRA-R and how do I get it? So that the data report that you're going to be pulling, that is the KRA-R scale score report. And it's the report that should be submitted. This is an Excel file and contains all of the student demographic information, the teacher data, the student, students overall, and item level scores. The report is made available though after the window closes and after the data cleanup window has concluded. All right, so the KRA-R scaled score report, as a data manager, you're gonna go up in the blue bar to administration, select reports on the left-hand side, select the drop-down arrow next to create a report. You're gonna scroll down to the KRA scale score report. And this is what it'll look like when you pull up and, and get ready to pull it. Now, like I said, it's not gonna be available until after the window closes. So when you do the drop down, you're not gonna be able to do the data collection until after. You would then select your district and request either a CSV or an Excel. Now that one's for care. I do wanna point out and show you the one that you would be submitting um, to for um, the early learning assessment. So if you go down to the same thing, drop down arrow, select the early learning, or, I'm sorry, ELA learning progression report for EMIS. And so this here, same thing, it's not gonna be available until after the window closes and after the data cleanup window closes. You're gonna select your data collection, select your district, um, and then select your region and select generate the report. So you do see here the filter by POA. So this option is automatically checked by default. So when the filter by POA is checked, only students whose POA is with the data manager's location district will show on the report. If you uncheck the box, the data manager will see all students who have been loaded for the district regardless of the student's POA. So this option is more intended for a situation where the students are reported by two organizations, such as the um, ESC or DD, anything like that. All right, so those are the two reports that you wanna use when you're submitting your data, both for the ELA and for the KRA-R. POA means point of authority. So only one can have the point of authority of a student, but for early learning assessment, they can be shared. So if the other, like, like I said, the ESC or DD also uploads the students, they can kind of share that student, but only once one district will have that point of authority. Great, thank you. And just to um, emphasize that the reason or the purpose for the point of authority is that is the reporting uh, organization. That's the organization that is going to report the scores to the Department of Education. So um, the point of authority is essentially tagging um, or checking, check marking that district, which has the authority to report those scores to the Ohio Department of Education. How do I know when my teachers have all their data entered? Do I need uh, spreadsheets from them or will I just pull it from the reports tab? You want to pull from the reports. You you can do either way. If you want to have your teachers, you know, give you the information. But again, if you just want to keep checking on a, you know, a weekly basis or every couple of days, you just want to pull reports. So we'll start first with that early learning. Um, if you pull the ELA SKB, SKB ratings report, what you would do is select your data collection, um, your start and end date and usually today's date. And you can select it by location, select by district or region. This will show you all of the skills, knowledge and behaviors for all of the um, items for the ELA. And that way you can check and see which ones your, your teachers have pulled in, um, put in scores or not. So that's a good way to check for the early learning assessment. For the KRA, there's a number of different reports you can do for that. You can do a KRA completion by item report, which will show, um, I'll pull an example here real quick, just, and I know 
want to make sure we stay on track here. So we're just doing a location report um, and this will show all the locations within underneath that district. And what's that's going to show is not the scores of the students, but it's going to show an X where a score has been entered. So you can see that there are a lot of blanks um, that have not been filled in um, that you want to go ahead and just kind of, you know, get a hold of those teachers and say, hey, you know, um, grumpy here, you haven't had ent entered any scores in. you might want to go ahead and start getting those completed. So that's one of the another report that you can do to kind of keep those teachers on track. So if we report the for MRDD would we uncheck the POA box? Yes, what I would do is make sure, so if you are sharing students, let's say with multiple districts, that main district's gonna have the point of authority, but you're sharing, so you're kind of entering those scores. You wanna, you know, check that box, make sure that you, um, you know, can see all of those students, I'm sorry, uncheck the box. So regardless of their district and where that point of authority lies, unchecking that box gonna bring up all of those students. So you will see, um, whether that student has that information entered in. How do you remove a teacher or administrator as a user who is no longer employed with the school district? That is a great question. We do get that a lot. And for that, a user account, um, whether it's an admin or a teacher, can be made inactive and it can be removed um, from the specific district within the Ready for Kindergarten online system. So we're going into the Ready for Kindergarten online system. You're gonna select your users. And I'm gonna use an example of myself self here. Um, Carissa Donovan is no longer with the district. I don't want, want her showing up in my, my users just to kind of clean things up a little bit. So what I wanna do is select open next to the teacher's name. Um, you wanna go into your organizations tab and select your districts. Here you're going to see the districts that she's attached to. So for this one, we're going to just go ahead and remove the KRA test district. Select OK. And if you know the teacher is, I mean, this is a specific email to your district, you can go a step further selecting inactive and just uncheck that teacher and click save. Oh, um, now actually for some reason I'm getting a forbidden here. Um, but normally, yeah, you have no problem. You can make them inactive. Even if you don't make them inactive, as long as you remove them from the organization, you will no longer see them in your users. So let's go back and see, and you see the Carissa Donovan with the iCloud account is no longer attached in this underneath the data manager's uh, account. Now, like I said, you can do this for teachers and admins, but if you have another data manager, that's listed, um, for instance, so if they have a role of the data manager, you as a data manager is not are not able to remove them from your district. That's something that the, only the help desk can do. So if you have some that may be retired or are no longer in that position, um, let us know. We can actually remove them from your district, but just please note, they need to be removed from OEDS first before we can update their account. So if they are still in OEDS as a data manager, we will not do it. Um, you need to update OEDS first and then let us know.